Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Super Hyper Hidgey, and this is Majora's Mask, the hopefully final part if the game doesn't glitch up. Now, uh, as you saw last time, the game just froze on the credits. And I was worried about something like that. So, what I'm gonna do is there's something I actually wanted to show after the end, but I might as well just show it now. Because, um, we got the last mask in the game. It's called the Fierce Deities. And luckily, as you can see, everything was saved. We all the mask, all the items, all the heart pieces, everything. We have it all here. So I'm just gonna head play the Sonata of Awakening because the Fierce Deities Mask is somewhat a resemblance to Adult Link but like I think they were planning on putting Adult Link somewhere in this game and they decided upon like because they have the sound files from Ocarina of Time but I think they decided to put that in the game instead So, without further, further ado, let's head inside the dungeon. Now, this will work on Odawa, um, G Goat, and... Now, here's something I'd like to show. This is... makes it so that you can just go right to the boss. If I had... because I hadn't shown these before, because all the other bosses I faced were off-screen. But... The only place... Hmm. Let's take this off and actually show the transformation. And here we have the Fierce Deity Mask. You look like the Don't Link and you're about as tall as you were before, but in the past. But it can only be used in boss rooms like this boss and Majora's Mask. Now here is the reason why it's so powerful. Let me just show you how good this battle is going to go. Ouch. Okay, get these beams. Let me just... Uh, not proving my point. Let me just... It's already over. But the Fierce Deity Mask is basically Nintendo's way of saying congratulations for 100% completion of the game. And you can't go in here with the mask on. So let's just journey on forth and face the other bosses. But, um, there are some theories between... Fierce Deity's Mask and Majora's Mask combined. Now, uh, there's one theory, well, it's actually kind of tied together somewhat, but Majora's Mask in one theory is believed to be completely insane and just wants to play. And this is evident because uh, in the very beginning of the game, Majora's Mask could have easily just, like, ended Link at the very beginning when he's at his most vulnerablest. If that's even a word. At his most vulnerable stage. But instead, the Majora's Mask turns Link into a Deku. But, like, it just turns him into a Deku instead of, like, killing him or something. And Link goes throughout the game and gets many masks. Now, as you turn all your mask in to the very end of the game, um, you uh, are given another mask by the Majora's Mask. Now this just shows that more Majora's Mask just wanted to play and face an opponent like as equal to it or something, but this is all theories. Now another theory is it is one from the manga, which I actually own a copy of. 
of the Majora's Mask manga. No, it suggested that, um, uh, like, the origin story, because, you know, Nintendo never really says, is that Majora's Mask was this beast a long time ago that, uh, ate, like, all of the people in the land because they were, they all feared him. Or, they all feared this giant beast. I'll just keep talking. But, uh, they all fear this giant beast, and then, lo and behold, this, um, new guy just walks, he, uh, this warrior walks in, and he bears a resemblance to your steedy mask. And, time does not flow in the land that Majora is in, so he plays on an instrument which allows, um, time to start flowing and there to be rhythm, and the Majora's Majora dances for three days and three nights, and then finally tires out and finally goes to sleep after being awake for so long because the land has no sense of time. And then the warrior um, picks up the armor, carves it into Majora's Mask to seal evil within it. So that's one theory was that uh, the that he just made he wanted to seal the beast and he sealed it into the shape of a mask. And one of the arrows. But also something that to be that should be known is the fact that um. Majora's Mask is definitely one that likes to tr do tr make trouble. And... Let's see... And he want Majora just basically wants to... Like... It's just a deep- like a- almost a child demon that just wants to play. And... In one theory is that... Majora wanted you to have this mask so that, um, the power as equal as his could maybe, uh, be given so that he could give it to someone who is strong, and Link is a very strong individual in this universe. So, Majora's Mask wanted to test out to see, um, just how, uh, he wanted to face an opponent that was just as strong as he was. That's what Majora's Mask did, was by giving the, um, the mask to Link. And one thing that Majora's Mask wanted to count on was maybe them both tearing the world apart with their, um, godlike power. But since, uh, Link has a very strong will, he was able to overcome the power of the mask itself. Also, Something interesting to know, I think on the Future Steady Mask, on that form, uh, there is a Triforce symbol on it. So, it has what resembles a Hylian, and some people like to think this is, um, uh, Link's Termina counterpart, because there are very many people in Hyrule that are in this game. That have counterparts like their other friends. Like, um, you know, Tingle, well, actually, no, that's a poor choice. The Gorn Brothers, um, many of the Zoras, stuff like that. But, it's never really quite explained. So there's many theories behind it, but they're not all explained. Because they all like to be ambiguous. Alright, now I would like to show the twin mold battle with the fierce deity mask, but that one, it's cool with the giant's mask, but with the fierce deity mask, 
you're just a smaller form. Like you're you're the same height, you can't get big with that mask, so it's kinda hard. It it takes a while just to hit the um big giant worms. So I don't think it's really worth it all too much. Remember if I can let's see if I can remember the tune. Okay, got it. Messed up there. And now we have to see the turtle. Now he wants you on his back. Alright. So I just want to show off the fierce deity mask because it is so cool and this is actually the first time I have ever gotten all the masks. Look, I know I knew how to get them, I knew how to get all the heart pieces, but actually this whole run I never bothered to do all of it because I've seen my friends play this game, I had uh, seen things of how to do it, but like I had gotten different masks on different files, but I never bothered to just go and do it myself. So that's what this is. So I've never actually seen like this mask be used. Well, I've never actually used this mask. So this is something that I enjoy. <laughs> But, because some people actually think the Fierce DD mask is actually Link. So, like, because it has the Triforce symbol on it. But, while there are many theories, and because Nintendo never really goes out and says it, we may never know. And we have the fish boss again. So, after this boss, we're gonna go face Majora's mask, because why not? boss is really quick with the Fierce DD mask. Like, quicker than Goat. Where are you? There you are. And... Come on. And down. And where are we? Okay, right there. Ah, oh, it transported him to someplace else on the... There's that. So let's just go and head to clock down and speed up time. I think it's funny that um uh the 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 um when you like clean the land of evil, like in each section, the uh, woodfall area is the, the southern swamp is the only area that gets like shown the cleansing every single time. Like everyone else, everywhere else, you just bam, and then it's over. But not that place. So I will actually see you guys when the Clock tower is done. Okay, now it's time for twelve. There goes the clock. seen this before. Just head right up. In this conversation. 
follow. What I'd love to like to say here is um the dialogue changes for when um after you call the giants and it's kind of funny. And it's go time. And the giants are coming. Sis. Tail. Well, now you should be awake. Stand up. Wait, sis. The Skull Kid, don't blame him. Yeah, yeah, I know. The Skull Kid was lonely because now he would be his friend. Blah, blah, blah. And the power of the mask made him do it because it was too much for him to handle. How? How did you know that, sis? I like how in that whole conversation she's kind of like, alright, you can get up now, you can start, um, you know, going to the moon and stuff. Like, she's just like, yeah, we've been through this. Like, we know the drill. <laughs> That's one of the funny things I like that changes with time. Don't worry, just leave it to your sister. Well, you're going in, aren't you? We can't do anything down here. Let's go. I've been thinking this ever since I joined you. You never want to give up. You always want to try. I admire you. So she kind of has uh, some good dialogue there that I like that they add in when you beat the game. Alright. So now let's talk to Majora. with our fierce deity mask.
Will you play with me? You only have... You have only weak maps, so you'll play? Sure. Well, shall we go? Well, actually, it's kind of funny because... That's what he says... That's what Majora's Mask says normally when you talk to him if you don't go and do all... Give all your other masks away. So... By just going out and doing this, like... So essentially now we're doing the version that he wanted. Where we just play as Fierce Deity Link at this part. Maybe this will stop the game from crashing. Alright. Majora's Max, one last time. Now let's see if he'll go down for sure. Next, the weird Michael Jackson phase is George's incarnation moonwalks. And it's just weird. Where are you? It's over. I like how we're seen on the edge of the screen with our giant sword. Did it again. It's time for you to disappear, Majora. I think it gets more evident than Link can control it because I think he takes it off, maybe. I could be wrong. It's only single, not a double rainbow, or a triple rainbow. Hooray! We completed the game again, or the ending. Let's just see how the rest plays out. Dawn of a new day. Ah, he's awake. So yeah, Link manages to take off the mask, like, the very last second, I think. You guys, you hadn't forgotten about me. You still thought of me as a friend. And they're his friends too.
Did you... Did you save me? I thought they didn't want to be my friends with me. I thought they didn't want to be friends with me. But they had forgotten about me. Friends are a nice thing to have. Could she be my friend too? <laughs> you have the same smell as the fairy kid who taught me that song in the woods. I know, I know. Let's do something. Most of the evil has left the mess after all. Okay, please don't crash. Please don't crash. Well now, I finally have it back! Yes! Since I'm the minister of my travels, I must bid you farewell. Shouldn't you be returning home as well? Whenever there is a meeting, a parting is sure to follow. However, that parting need not last forever. Whether a parting to be forever, or merely for a short time, that is up for you. With that, please excuse me. But, you, my, you sure have managed to make quite a number of people happy. The masks you will have are filled with happiness. This is truly a good happiness. And he just vanishes into thin air. Well, both of us have gotten what we were after, so this is where you and I part ways, isn't it? You know, it was kind of fun. Well, it's almost time for the carnival to begin. So why don't you just leave and go about your business? The rest of us have a carnival to go to. Link! Thank you. And with that, let the carnival begin. Well, that's Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. I had a great time actually playing this game. I haven't played it in such a long time, actually. Um, these credits can actually be different if you don't get all the masks. Like, I I know that because when the credits start, instead you are shown the masks you didn't get for some scenes. Like, it'll just show the mask to rotate. But since we got every single mask in the game, we should get the full ending after all. And we get to see that the Indigo Ghosts are able to play their music. Anyways, this was my, like I said before, I did a full playthrough of this. I, um, did some research on some background stuff. I wanted to make sure uh, I did a good Let's Play of this, and this was my first Let's Play I ever did. And I'm hoping that I did a good job, but I don't, I'm not quite sure. But, you know, I think I'm going to continue doing this, because I had a lot of fun doing this. And I see lots of other people do it on YouTube, and I thought, why not? And so I'm going to keep, like, recording episodes and play games that I really enjoy, ones that, uh, like, not to be cheesy or anything, but are close to my heart, because I believe that there are some good stories that can come out of video games that people don't realize, or have realized, so they watch this stuff, because, uh, one thing I really enjoyed about this game is the amount of depth and darkness it had to it that you don't see unless you look all around the place. Because I think one thing that turned a lot of people off from this game is the fact that uh, it's kind of non-linear and you have to just explore everything. Like, they don't force you to go anywhere. Well, you have to go places to be able to get to another location. But it's not like they try to... It's not like, alright, you're given this one objective and you have to go there. But even so, some of the other Zelda games aren't quite like that. Like, you can still explore, 
but this one is even more free, like, more, even more free than that, like, you could just go anywhere in the game, I guess. And that's why I, I enjoy it so much. Well, I think it took a lot of risk, though, because, you know, not a lot of people are willing to just try something new like this in a while. <laughs> well, this game being 2000, and I like how, again, the, the environments in the overworld of this game were great. The fact that Clock Town was the center and that you had to just go to all the different locations in the game to help it, and that you were just spreading happiness, because basically, this game was transforming a world of dark into, a, like, a better place. It was basically about making people happy. Like, that's what you set out to do in this entire place. And the Happy Mask Salesman is kind of ambiguous a little bit, because he just doesn't appear for, like, well, he appears at the very beginning, and he's only seen in the clock tower. Like, that's where you go talk to him if you want to, and you can show the masks to him, but he doesn't really do anything, but, well, he talks about the masks you show him, but that's about it. But I do know that, um, there's something he's planning that they don't quite show you, because he says that he has somewhere to be after the third day, and it happens to be the day that the world explodes into oblivion. So, he has something planned that, you know, we don't really get to know. And in addition to make people happy, we help people gain back their their husband or their wife so that this marriage could take place on the day of the carnival. And I remember seeing uh, this quest actually like on a top 10 saddest video game moments was the Angie Bin Cafe quest. So like, as you know, it is kind of touching, and the fact that they risked their life for the last moment even to die just to end up by each other. And also they don't show uh, <laughs> Cafe's face. They just kind of hide it. But in happiness comes sadness. Also, because the Deku Butler lost his son. And that was his son that we saw at the very beginning of the game. And that's why we looked like his son, because we had his son's spirit in our mask. Just like we had Darmani and Mikal. So, there were sacrifices along the way that we couldn't prevent. But we were still able to save the land. And the Skull Kid said that he had seen us earlier, and he played, and that we taught him a song. Well, if you remember in Ocarina of Time, there's a Skull Kid you see in the forest that you teach a particular song. And with that note, after te he remembers you from teaching him Saria's song back in Ocarina Time, and he draws this little picture on a tree trunk in the middle of the woods. And that is Majora's Mask. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you all next time with my next game that I'll be Let's Playing. See you then.